Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Planet Coaster here on Theme Park Worldwide. So yes, as I've mentioned in the previous three episodes in this series, this is actually going to be the final episode where I'm going to be building here in my indoor theme park. Um, so yeah, it's all going to come together in this episode. You'll notice by the end of it there's still a few little tweaks and things to do. However, I'm going to keep that as a bit of a surprise, ready for showing you it all in episode 5. Um, but yeah, in this episode I'm going to go through most of the areas and just add in some more finishing touches and details uh, that I needed to do. Starting off here with the area around the log flume. I've not touched this for a while uh, around here and there was a huge indoor section, a dark ride scene, uh, what needed to be installed. And that's what I'm starting off with just here. So following with that whole Aztec sort of feel here. Uh, I did have quite a large space there for a show building. Um, so I've made it a little bit smaller because uh, I wanted to make sure there was room in case I wanted to do a big extravagant scene and uh, there's going to be quite a large room just going around this corner however I didn't want the whole thing uh, indoors there to be absolutely huge um, but yeah so overall uh, it's just putting in some smaller details inside here so when you're going through on that log flume boat uh, you've got some stuff to look at and it all falls in uh, part of the uh, story and theming for this ride. Obviously, we've got some really nice interaction with the drop. Uh, fantastic near-miss element when you go down the drop uh, before you go down. And, of course, have that splash element. You've got the pirate ship, which is just off at the bottom, uh, which creates a really nice element, a bit of interaction. And not forgetting that uh, dragon coaster as well uh, that interacts really nicely with this log flume. But yeah, you can see there I've built a small show building within this log area that I'd set up just in case I wanted to use it all uh, but you know that could be for future expansion and more about that a little bit later on because I know a lot of you are really enjoying this series and to be honest I've really enjoyed doing an indoor park so watch this space because of course I'm still going to have my plans uh, for this World's Fair park uh, but later on I'll reveal some plans that I've got for this one in the future so stay tuned for that um, but yeah anyway this is going to be my large show scene just here in this log flume obviously you've already done the big drop and everything you've gone up the lift they'll done the drop and then you're coming back into this uh, dark ride scene gonna have a couple of big statues in here uh, just at either side of the trough a few more bits of smaller elements like uh, again gonna go for like one of them rolling uh, like a ball what rolls down the side uh, Indiana Jones style uh, there was a few different booby traps that I looked at to put into here but I thought that was the one that kind of works and you'll see in just a moment how I'm uh, messing about with a few of those these statues are quite cool because you can customize them and build them up how you want to and um, you can use like different legs different uh, like bodies and different heads to make them look really different uh, really unique which is quite cool um, so yeah, I have a little bit of a mess about with those. Uh, it's just about thinking about what you actually see uh, from the boat ride there as well. You can Obviously this is sped up, but you can see I put the camera down to the actual trough level there uh, because you're not going to see this whole area behind, so there's no need to theme it uh, because obviously you're only going to see it looking forwards. Uh, that's something that Disney are very, very clever at on their rides. Um, and As much as their rides are very heavily themed, if you turn around and look backwards in some of the scenes especially on rides such as Pirates of the Caribbean you'll notice large sections where you know it, it's not just black walls or whatever but they're very clever with the lighting and, and things to focus your attention on certain walls and certain scenes that actually there's minimal theming in some of the different places and that's something that I've always found quite fascinating with dark rides and I've said this in previous episodes and in the vlogs here on the channel as well uh, you know I'm a theme park enthusiast not a roller coaster enthusiast uh, so I've always sort of enjoyed dark rides just as much maybe even more than coasters sometimes uh, because there's just so much you can do with a dark ride you can see here I'm just looking at these different effects what they've got none of these quite fit with what I wanted to go into here size wise and also with the whole theme of it uh, other than this giant boulder and so I thought yeah let's uh, let's go with this boulder there on the right hand side and we'll put a few of the spikes in just on the wall there as well um, just again that's looking down at trough level to see how it looks and in a second once all the details are in there I'll put a roof on and, and start to work on the exterior 
Um, but more about what else you're going to be seeing in this episode. Obviously, it's not just the log flume and what needed some finishing touches. Uh, you've got that whole area at the back, that whole Swiss area, uh, where, which needs some finishing touches on the buildings. You've got the Wild West uh, buildings as well. They need work. And then, of course, it's putting a roof on this thing. So uh, later on in the episode, you'll actually see me put a roof on. After looking through your feedback, uh, which I always do, I decided to go with, there was a few people who said you should put definitely have um, a, a glass roof for the majority or at least in places so i'm going to go with that and uh, i'll talk more about that in a few minutes time here it's just adding some more rocks in and other little details inside there as well and it's great to see that everyone's enjoying how compact this park is including planet coaster themselves so a big thank you to the team at planet coaster for actually sharing a link to this uh, series here on theme park worldwide uh, last week they actually posted about it and said you know if you want to see how to do a compact park and, and put things in all really close together check out this series on theme park worldwide so so it's good to see that the guys at Planet Coaster have been watching this. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you're enjoying it so far. And, you know, by, by all means, you know, I'm not the best Planet Coaster creator out there. Um, but I certainly like to put in a lot of details and I think I do a good job at that. But I really do appreciate the fact that you guys have, have recognized this, the series. Honestly, thank you so much. Whether you're listening now or maybe you just watched that one. I don't know. But the team at Frontier have definitely seen it. So uh, that is fantastic. And maybe you've actually come over to watch this series after Planet Coaster shared it. Um, so I just want to say hello and welcome. Welcome to Theme Park Worldwide and Planet Coaster. Um, this is what the fourth series I've done now. Uh, I did quite a large park at first called Volcano Springs. Uh, I then did a studios based park, then went on to do a vintage park and then now this indoor park. So I've done a good variety. Going back to a large scale park next, which is all going to be themed uh, around different countries around the world. And that is what I'm going to be starting. Of course, there's one more episode of this where we're going to open it and you'll sort of see it all open with guests in all the lighting will be complete and and yeah i'm looking forward to sharing that uh, like i say at the end of this episode there'll still be a few little tweaks mainly with lighting and things to put in however i'm going to say that i'm going to do it off camera and then i'm going to let you into this park in episode five so you can discover it and we'll have footage from on all of the 15 different rides uh, we'll have a bit of an opening ceremony as i like to do and yeah really monitor how guests react to this park uh, luckily it's not lagging at all because it's a small park um, so I'll be able to let in as many guests as physically can fit into this building and let's see how they react to the queue lines the rides themselves obviously I've still got to work a bit on operations and things here and uh, putting in a few more food outlets and things all that will be done by the next episode so I know some people have said oh you know they're quite sad that it's been a short series four episodes of building and one showcasing it um, but don't you worry because I mentioned about five minutes ago about the future of this park and, and with it being a, an indoor park what I'd like to do so I've decided that there's a lot of expansion space and when you download this park it will be going into the steam workshop soon when you download this park you'll notice in a few of the buildings they're actually empty and the they're on the edge of, of this show building mainly so you could actually build more on the side like you could add another building a bit, a bit like toverland did when it opened they had the one building and they had an extension which then went into the next one i'm talking that and i'm thinking i'm going to come back to this in the future maybe after i've done this huge world's fair park uh, definitely later in the year and and do another section to this so i'm thinking maybe i could do like a christmas themed park around christmas time maybe a halloween themed park in these different buildings so this is the first of it's gonna be weird this one i've never done this before in the what nearly three years i've been playing planet coaster since it came out i've never actually done this but I, you know this series is coming to an end now but i am going to come back to it and i'm actually going to not start afresh because this part is going to continue to operate but i'm going to build another indoor expansion if you like to this in the future so that isn't going to be coming up for many many months because the big focus is going to be on the world's fair park but that's just a bit of an idea for you in the future and i hadn't planned to do that i'll be completely honest i thought i was going to do this four episodes originally but i needed that extra one to get things complete uh you know and and then that'd be it for it and move on but no you guys have really enjoyed it i've enjoyed building this much more than i thought i would and i didn't know if a compact park was going to work like this but it seems like it has and i feel like there's more 
that could be done in with this concept so I am going to revisit it of course the part will still be able to be downloaded in the workshop once it's complete um, however and that'll be after the next episode next week um, however um, yeah I am actually going to come back to this later in 2019 to come and add another build into it so there you go something to look forward to so don't class this as sort of the end of this park uh, more more the beginning you know like it's, it's a it's complete this section I won't be changing anything about this however I will actually be adding some buildings to it so there you go or at least one new building to it and we'll sort of go from there uh, definitely thinking like a Christmas themed park would be nice and the whole story of that could be oh you know that it just opens during the festive period you know and they've got a corridor what leads into it Christmas themed ride like a sleigh ride maybe a couple of dark rides in there uh, like a Santa's Grotto uh, and like Lapland experience maybe an indoor train that takes you to Lapland something along those lines so there you go something for you guys to look forward to and something for me to look at later in 2019 when we revisit this indoor park and add a new building right next to it that is also going to explain why I'm not going to be fully theming the outside of this building. Uh, I'm going to be adding some basic landscaping at the front where you'd enter it. However, you've got to imagine this is supposed to be next to like a shopping centre. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to build the whole shopping centre uh, because it wouldn't be able to function. However, um, you know, you've got to imagine that. But yeah, that isn't, that's the reason why the outside isn't going to be fully themed. I'm going to put some trees and stuff around it, a bit of uh, landscaping, but nothing too much because I want to leave expansion space and I can just remove the trees and be off with another building next door. Well, there you go. Let me know your thoughts on that. Exciting. Uh, you can see here, what are we, nearly 12 minutes in and I'm still working on this area around the log flume. It was the one area that needed the most work doing to it uh, because of that dark ride scene. I wanted to put that in and then build the rest of the uh, show building all around that. You can see a lot of details. It's a work in progress style building uh, in terms of all the scaffolding is part of the theming a bit like uh, 13 at Alton Towers that has got scaffolding on uh, it's that sort of style you know there's a lot of construction work taking place that's why we've got those animatronics at the top just there as well doing a bit of digging and here just putting in some rocks and stuff on the top there going to put a few trees bit of foliage in at the top there as well um, like you, you're at the top of this temple and, and there's land that sort of expands to the back and this has sort of been built up against the land uh, that's what I'm feeling with this anyway so far uh, but like I said the Beyond Ride footage coming from all of the rides every single one in the next episode uh, even the flat rides I'm going to be sharing some POV footage of course I won't show you the full flat ride um, but I will show you you, uh, some footage on from the mall so you can get an idea uh, one thing that I did have a little ride on before starting to record this was that people mover and it's gorgeous it's probably my favorite ride in the park just for the visuals that you get um, going through all the different themed areas all these boxes here all these crates going in uh, that just have uh, bits of stuff in what the workers would be installing on that building whether it's uh, tools what they're using to carve into the rocks all that sort of stuff and um, you know yeah it's, it's just playing about with it but I'm re really really enjoying it so far and uh, yeah I'm glad that you guys are too now there is only one more episode left in this current series and that means I need all of your different names to come in for these different rides you've pretty much seen them all nearly completed now or at least you will have by the end of this episode so you've got a good idea on how they look have you got any storylines for the different rides and the park itself over the past three episodes there's been some incredible names that you guys have suggested I've always selected a few that I really liked and I've put them into like a short list but that doesn't mean that I've 100% picked them yet for that ride and um, so keep those suggestions coming in over the next couple of days uh, before I record the next episode and uh, yeah you'll be in with the chance of having your name picked and that means you will get that special shout out as well when I reveal your name and also uh, the name that you've chose for the park and also for the rides inside and um, so yes keep them coming in over the next couple of days from when this is posted and uh, yeah you've got a very high chance of of course me picking out your name 15 different attractions here so uh, you know I'm going to try my best to pick 15 different people uh, for all these different names uh, for this park so keep them coming in and of course I'll be looking back as well on your comments over the previous episodes to uh, put them all together so this is the moment that a lot of people have been waiting for and me personally I couldn't wait to do this because I thought I don't really know 100% how it's going to look until you've done it this is closing in the show building the roof itself and you 
you can see there how I've put in a lot of the steel uh, like roof parts all the way across and then I've left gaps ready for this huge glass panel there's gonna be four of these uh, they're all gonna be identical apart from the one that's gonna have a little indent in it because of the uh, drop and shot tower that just needs a, a little bit of work doing on that one however I can do that and copy and paste these all over uh, and then do that at a later date so you can see here similar to how I've done the windows however uh, they were all a different size so I couldn't really copy and paste it with this I can do because they're all the same size uh, I think there were 12 across by 15 so something along those lines and uh, yeah I've put all these glass panels down on the grass here, marked it out to that, 12 by 15, I think it was. And then I'm using all these steel girders now, uh, moving them across. I'll just do it on this first one, and then I can use the copy and paste tool to do that all the way across, and then downwards as well, uh, to create the exact same look as what are on the windows around the side of the building. However, this is much bigger on a much larger scale. Um, you can see there, I'm just testing it to make sure that it is gonna fit. At first I thought, oh God, it's not but I realized that it was like 200 foot taller than the uh, actual building so yeah I did manage to sort that out uh, and just lower it down and um, so yeah you can see here again just looking at how them windows are done putting in like a black steel beam all the way around the outside there as well uh, just you know so it's got like a, a finisher to it so to speak um, but yeah that's all coming together you can see that I'm just moving those across and again I copy and paste those to uh, put it all together now the main reason that I wanted to put these huge glass panels all the way across the roof was just to let in a lot of that natural light. Uh, something that Frontier, the developers behind Planet Coaster, really thought about was the whole lighting, whether it's in the daytime mode or at night. Uh, it changes subtly throughout and I really do like that and with the shadows and things. I just wanted to make sure there was a lot of natural light coming into this. And another reason is from a park that I visited over in Dubai uh, last year and uh, yeah that was IMG Worlds of a adventure wonderful park but there's no natural light coming into it at all um, so I didn't want it to be quite like that I wanted to make sure it was a huge heavily themed indoor park that that was however I wanted a lot of natural light to come in you know so that was my uh, whole idea with these roof panels and there you go you can see I've copy and pasted that once you've done one of these it's just a copy and paste uh, job where you just take them straight over so it's nice and easy really it's just making sure you get it lined up there I wanted to make sure there wasn't uh, any gaps at the side uh, and just make sure it was lined up perfectly uh, from inside and also outside there as well and this gives you your first proper idea now at how this looks now it's nearly complete uh, with that roof on uh, like I said that lighting that it lets in really nice there's a lot of thematic lighting still to be done uh, and that is going to be done between this episode and the next one uh, I'll be doing that and then of course I'll be opening the park and showing you all complete because I don't want to give everything away just yet you've seen me build this but there's still a few finishing touches that I'm going to be adding off camera uh, before episode 5 uh, like I say it's not going to be any building you know you've seen the builds complete in this other than them finishing touches uh, it, it's mainly going to be me showcasing the park in that episode episode 5 and, and giving you lots of footage and seeing how the guests react to it and I think it'll have a really good atmosphere this part with it being quite compact uh, a little bit worried about some of the paths maybe they're going to be a little bit too small to cope with some of the crowds I don't know but we'll soon find out so yeah, them three roof panels there fit perfectly, really nice. Uh, this one here, like I say, I'm bringing it over. However, you have got that drop tower just there uh, that I need to just uh, resolve the issue with there. Uh, I didn't want to raise the whole roof up around it because I only wanted to do the little bit over that. Um, so yeah, you'll see that I delete a couple of the blocks and uh, redo that there as well uh, just to make sure that it fits over. Now I start to work a little bit on the exterior. Now the roof's on, uh, there's only a few more bits left to do inside. I thought, right, let's start with the exterior a little bit here. So the plan is uh, nothing too glamorous. I want, you know, the impact of when you walk into this to be like, oh my God, look at this. Um, but yeah, we've got this small little entrance going in just here, some rocks around the outside. And then it's mostly just gonna be nicely landscaped, quite pretty out here, uh, as you'll see in a few moments. I don't sort of show too much of this. I don't wanna bore you with me doing more rocks 
rock work. Uh, but yeah, I put some rocks in, some nice big lakes out the front, and you'll see that in just a few seconds how it looks when it's nearly complete. So there you go. So I put them lakes in, uh, a mix between standard trees and palm trees out here as well. And like I say, any of this is subject to change in the future when uh, I do expand on this. Like I said earlier, I am going to come back to this in the future and do another building. I don't know if the building is going to be the same size or if it's going to be a bit smaller, a bit bigger. You know, anything goes at the moment. I don't really know, but... You know, I am going to come back to this in the future and do more because you've all enjoyed it. Planet Coaster have enjoyed it and I've enjoyed it most importantly. So that's the thing, isn't it? You know, you've got to believe in your own things. Uh, it's no good me doing this, uh, you know, just for your enjoyment. It's for everyone to enjoy, isn't it? And uh, as long as I'm enjoying building it, I think it, it comes across, uh, you know, that everybody enjoys it a lot more if I'm enjoying it. If I'm not like in doing a project as much I don't think it's going to come across as, as nice is it you know I don't think you guys are going to enjoy it as much if I don't like building it uh, you got to believe in what you're doing and uh, you know I'm really pleased with this really really pleased with that I believe 100% in this indoor park and I think it's come together really well I can't wait for you to download it and uh, tweak bits if you want to add bits in I say that you can't really add any more rides into this space maybe a couple of bits you could put in however um, you don't want to ruin them sight lines and things too much so the best thing you know if you want to expand on this is build another building next to it and there's a few little places I'll point them out in the next episode what I've been deliberately designed from the start of this to add on to this in the future and I was putting them in no matter what whether I was going to add on to them or whether you guys wanted to if you downloaded it um, but yeah the plan is I am going to add to it and do an official uh, new building on the side as well. I'm sure some of you guys will do some uh, unofficial ones as well. And make sure you send us some pictures in. I'd like to see what you do with it. And that goes with my other parks in general if you do download them and make tweaks. Back inside then now, all fully closed in. We've got an entrance, we've got the doors on, we've got the roof on. You know, it's, it's looking good, it's looking ready to go. And uh, yeah, just going back in now, working on this Wild West building, which is your uh, exterior to the stations for the uh, Mine Train coaster and also the other Junior Dragon coaster as well. Uh, similar building style here to what I've done throughout the park. In my next park, I am going to try a lot of different building styles because I know that a lot of my buildings do look very similar. You know the different themes, and you can tell what the themes are uh, of course but I want to do a lot more detailed building so that's something that I'm going to work on a lot in the World's Fair Park and I think it's a good park to do it uh, because if I'm doing a China area, for example, we're going to have a lot of these different like Chinese temples and things to work on. Um, you know, so it's going to be a really interesting park. It's not going to be your, your cliche style, um, you know, amusement park. I want it to be very, very different with what we're going for with this World's Fair. Uh, imagine Islands of Adventure at Universal mixed with Epcot mixed with a massive thrill park so there's going to be some big coasters going in the biggest coasters i've built in planet coaster are going to be going into this world's fair park so um you know along with that there's going to be some huge epic scale dark rides and yeah i'm looking forward to starting that a lot of people are probably thinking how has sean got time to do this well the answer to that is i haven't really got much time um you know i did I promised that the episode was going to be on last Sunday. It wasn't, um, you know, because I have a lot of other stuff going on. We, we upload daily here on the channel. I've got a lot of other trips and things going on, seeing friends, things away from theme parks. I know I do actually do things away from parks sometimes. And yeah, just in general, uh, a lot of other different stuff, of course, spending time with Charlotte. Um, so yeah, it's one of them things, isn't it? I don't have a lot of time. And um, we've got this huge USA road trip coming up. So I'm not going to put a date on when the new series is going to start. Obviously, the next episode of this will be online within the next week or so uh, which will be the final episode for now anyway of this series until we come back to it later in the year uh, with the expansion uh, but yeah, I'm not going to put a, a time scale on it but uh, you know it's not going to be like months and months until the next series but it's not going to be within a couple of weeks because you've got to think we've got this huge USA road trip coming up I plan on pre-recording a couple of episodes before we go so I don't know like just don't expect it to be imminently because of a lot of other stuff going on however it's not going to be a ridiculous length of time either uh, but yeah the, just, just to be aware there is going to be a little bit of a gap between 
between this and the next series. Uh, the original plan was to go straight into it, but uh, due to a lot of other things going on, a lot of different content and things that you've not seen yet on the channel that I've been doing behind the scenes working on, um, you know, surprise projects, uh, they've been taking off. So I've not had quite as much time for Planet Coaster as I would have liked to. Uh, but of course, I've still managed to keep it going. A lot of people didn't think I would do throughout the theme park season, uh, but it's one of the most popular things on the channel. I love playing it. You like watching it. Um, so yeah, of course, I'm going to keep rolling it over and uh, yeah, expect the new series. Uh, you know, it, may be, it might be about a month or so. It could be a little bit less than that. Uh, I don't want to put like a date on it. Um, it all depends on time and how things come together. I know some people were a bit upset that I didn't upload on Sunday when I did say that it was going to be going on then. Um, so yeah, be because of that, I'm not going to be putting sort of a time frame on it. It'll come online when it comes online. Uh, as you can see here then, the details on the Wild West building are uh, coming together quite nicely. Got a bit of fencing going in around there. You've got some more lamp posts and things as well uh, that have all gone in. It's just them little touches, isn't it? bins benches uh, all that sort of stuff it looks nearly complete this and i am very very pleased with it uh, there's a few more bits a few tweaks that i'm going to be making uh, mostly to lighting and things however it is nearly done i'm also going to be adding in some different food outlets and things but that's all going to be a surprise i'm going to share it with you in the next episode episode five which will be the final video in this series of let's play planet coaster uh, but there you go just putting in these little touches here as we come to the end of the episode but there you go i'm really glad that you've all enjoyed this indoor park i've enjoyed doing it uh, maybe it should have been a bit of a longer series originally so i could have shown you more however that's why i'm going to come back to it i decided that this week i thought you know what there's more from this i'm going to come back to it and and do another big building um like this with with the different themes and things so here's a few little shots you can see it with the roof on there very pleased with it and i'll be back within the week with that final episode in the series of let's play planet coaster where we'll ride all these 15 different rides we'll fill it full of people and have a bit of an opening ceremony party for this indoor park as well so there we go i'm sean sandbrook thank you for watching theme park worldwide and i'll see you in the next episode of my indoor park see you soon guys and that means it's time to cue those credits